Hello friends, welcome back to part 2 of making an art gallery website. So till now we have created this much and this results in this. So as we are making an art gallery website or art website, so we wouldn't want so formal representation here. We need to create a stylish look and feel. So first thing comes in our mind for our stylish representation is the font so if we represent this name by this font it looks very formal so in order to change the font we need to change the font family in this case so you, you can write here any font which is already installed in the OS but now I am going to use an external font and also by that you will learn how to import an external font in your website so for that my personal favorite is this font love hello line light so I'm going to import that so for for that first let's put that into our project folder so it's available directly here so then we need to import this font in our CSS. So let's create the style tag. Sorry. Let's finish it first. Then we need to use the font phase tag. Uh, not sorry, not tag. So font face and there are two attributes in it first we need to the two main attributes we need to define are font family and the file source so font family we need to give our user defined name for that font so I am going to use the name next we are going to use the source The source format is like this, we need to type URL and the font file name. So the font file name is directly available in the current tree. So and it's OTF. And with that we need to write also the format of the file. So in the format tag you need to write open type. So when the point form, font form, font file is of OTF, you need to write open type, and if the font is of TTF, you need to write true type. So that's that. So now our font is imported and available to use in this page. So now here I will use this font. So font family. so let's refresh and let's see Ooh, looks pretty cool right now we are getting the art feel so okay now let's get back to main work so after this navigation bar we need to create something here so in most of the cases in general templates we see uh, either a text welcome or an image welcome so for art gallery site we would expect something related to art so it's better if you use image instead of texts so we're going to use some image so I'm going to take something from Google it's a search by art you can choose any picture from here but I am going to uh, use this pattern kind of image so I will directly use the link so I am going to create a div for that and for that div I am going to use 
okay if i'm not able to see this my typing properly i'm going to zoom a little bit for you okay so my background will be a uh, url from net so my background picture is set so let's refresh this page as you can see you cannot see anything you cannot see the picture till now Bec and that's because we have to put some content here but in an art site we may also need to see the image even if there is no text available so for that we are going to use a minimum height even if the text is not present so we will use height of 100 vh now if anybody doesn't know about the vh unit measure I would recommend you to go first to the W3 page for the explanation on various unit types. So VH generally stands for vertical height. It generally takes the total vertical height of my screen and sets the height to that. So if my screen is 1080p resolution, it will take 1080 pixel for that if someone uses the monitor of height 768 pixel so it will use 768 pixel for that so it's a very pretty important unit for responsiveness okay so let's see what i get here okay so now we can see our image is present but you can see it's as the resolution is smaller than my screen so it's getting repeated so for that we will use background repeat as no repeat okay i did something okay double comments so so you can see the picture doesn't get repeated but it also not fully covered so for that we will use the width and height property so for that we will use background size as 100% for height and 100% for width So now it covers the total page now in addition to that for making a little bit stylistic scrolling and fill I will use another property that is background attachment and we make it to fixed so what does it do even when you scroll you can see I am scrolling the background image is still it's not moving so when I add more content you will see the magic of it so let's add more content so I'll now write some welcome message here so in order to make the text in the middle of the section I will use a little padding let's say 40 vh or 50 vh whatever you can use according to your trial and error and inside that I will set a text and I will make this text as center so this is a bootstrap class 
and I will write let's say welcome to JK art gallery and you can oh sorry I can you can write some subheadings also for that let's say this one and also centered whatever you can write here so like explore various arts and crafts or contact us on details whatever you can write whatever you feel like writing it it's up to you and your content so let's see so you can see whenever I'm scrolling the background behind it is fixed so it brings a real classy feel so, uh, so to make our writing make our heading a little more visible let's change its color as white and let's use that font for the heading only and I'll make this headings color white only okay it looks a little better than that though uh, in this position this gets a little bit blurred so okay you can experiment with that and get into a conclusion I'll leave it, leave it up to you next make a little bit a descriptive section in our site the area where we will uh, say why we are making this again it's really up to you what content you add and what type of design you make in that so I'm going to show you all combinations so you can easily experiment on that so I'll create a div style I'll use a little background color and this color is my personal favorite and I'll give it a minimum height of let's say 10 vh and inside it I will create another div and with that I will say container and I'll create a little bit description here I'll make it of white color let's say whatever this website does this website focuses on showcasing and broadcasting art and crafts works by JK Gallery in Berlin. So that's all for the section. We we'll close all the open tags. I think that's it. And let's refresh our site. So you can see this little till background area has appeared and looks pretty cool color combination. So that's up to now, and I'll see you in the next video.